previously on Sailing Aquarius. After weeks of exploring Egypt, we are back to Aquarius. So this is the Port Gallup Marina. The marina goes all the way there. Everything what's facing water is a restaurant and there is a inner street, all the souvenir shops. And we've been placed up there. It is next to the hotel that is currently not working. And to walk to the marina, it's 38 minutes or every time each way, we have to get a ride. It is also not much to do and we are not allowed to swim anywhere. The only places surrounding this place is five star all-inclusive hotels. Well, it says when you're given lemons, make a lemonade. And that's what we did. Well, we're not normally at places like this. Five star luxury. But this place is right next to Port Galib Marina. Port Gallup Marina, sorry. And um, we decided that uh, we we're gonna spend a couple nights in a hotel because the mosquitoes were just eating us alive. And uh, we had screens up, we had mosquito nets over our bed, and we still got eaten alive. So therefore, we decided to come to the hotel and see what that's like. But this is really, really nice. Well, Javila is making a video for all your enjoyment. I get to hang out here. Yeah, baby. After resting and relaxing, we decided to leave Egypt and move on. We decided to go to Jordan. We have to provision for our short passage and provisioning here is also not as easy. Luckily, we heard it's much better in Jordan. Bananas today. Yeah, we can get some bananas. So all these places, they hardly have any customers because COVID hit, a lot of the hotels closed, or a few of the hotels closed, and then then the only hotels that are open are all you can eat. So there's nobody going to these places. And the food is a hundred times better at the hotels than it is at any of the restaurants. So nobody's gonna go to the restaurants because the food's worse and it costs money, where you can go to the restaurants and the, the hotel and get it for free. Leaving Port Galib. Going to get some diesel. Captain Kim. Yes, Admiral. How are you? Very good. Looking forward. Look at this baby. Pretty cool. And that is a fuel dock. Okay, I have a back line. Can somebody take? Okay, that's good. They go through a lot of diesel here, so should be good diesel. You can see the bow twister. Aquarius is all ready to go across Red Sea to the Aquaba in Jordan. Isabel, now for the bar share, you're six, uh, uh, six dollars yeah, only. Okay. And this is not normal. Well, hello there.
look at this this is right next to the diesel fuel how beautiful we finished fueling up and moved to the customs dock there we filled up more documents and more waiting well if we can get out of here in the next 20 minutes or so we've done it pretty painlessly we started the process around nine o'clock in the morning we're going to check out now and we're not going to check back in because we just don't want to have the hassle of checking in and checking out and you only get a month here so you know you have to get out within that month and get all the way through so we're heading over to jordan we're going to stay in jordan for a couple weeks and then we're going through the suez canal Okay, some ships already coming back and we are still here. Security's already been on board. Looks okay. Okay, you can go. Okay, I'm going. Okay, we had a lot of people saying goodbye. We are off. We are done with Egypt, except for the Suez crossing. So we're all checked out. Now we're heading to the back to the Red Sea. We're having another Red Sea crossing. So our agent was very, very surprised because when we left everything, uh, we pay part of the cash, part of the fees and uh, through the system, the new Egyptian system. And the agent could not believe because our bill was $7 only. Yeah, pretty cool. Just get my last bit of internet. So Egypt's in the background, gone. Yes, until we cross for Suez Canal. A little chilly. Yeah, I heard it's uh, chilly in Aqaba. And that's where we're heading, Jordan. Last time it was uh, this chilly when we were going to New Zealand. We're going Very relaxing, no mosquitoes, no flies. 250 nautical miles. So it's going to be about a day and three quarters. There is no official shipping lanes, so, but it's very, very busy. Our passage started nice and easy. As forecasted, winds were light, but when it got dark, it was a bit nerve-wracking. As lots of ships going different directions, then lightning show beautiful but at the same time a bit scary especially going on for such a long time and at this intensity well that was busy yeah we're right in the middle of it And that continued all the way till the morning. So our solar panels got loose yesterday in a storm. And now Captain Kim is tightening them up. Not the weather forecast we expected. Can you uh, put this over there someplace safe? Captain is angry. Yeah, I'm angry. Weather forecasts. The good side is with this winds, we don't need to run the engine, and we were just happy to keep sailing.
So this is the beginning of the Gulf of Aqaba. And we did pick a good time to go through. Look at that. Zero wind, completely flat. Yeehaw. Our second passage night, we saw unforecasted strong winds, this time against us, together with the waves. Our speed sometimes was below one knot, and our trusty autopilot was struggling keeping up the course. Speed is 11, 11 knots or so, and we're getting uh, 25 to 30. 30 knots. you verify what you got on on everything so that's what our chart looks like that's what the forward-looking sonar looks like and you really can't see anything on this either but uh, it came up well now it's going down but it came up in a hurry out of nowhere so there's a place coming up right now here we are moving right next to the Egypt because in the middle of Gulf of Aqaba the waves were quite high and here is much more manageable. Mommy! We got about 45 nautical miles to go. And we're coming around this corner and I'm thinking it's the winds are gonna be dying down as we go forward here. Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel, and Egypt, right here, and we're right here, right in the middle of it all. I'm so glad we made it this far. This is Sailing Vessel of Aquarius on Channel 1-2. Yes, Aquarius, you are going to the Port Control. Yeah, we're calling the Port Control. We're coming in. We're going to be going to Isla Marina. Are you ready for Aqaba? We're heading into Jordan. Let's see here. So we're going to be calling them up soon, and uh, hopefully we will uh, be pulling in there. Our famous quarantine flag, sailing Aquarius, coming to Jordan.
Arthur, look at this. You can see where you docking your boat. The water is so clear. Wow. And this is the Isla Marina. Very, very cool. Wow. We made it. If you ever get a chance to come here, definitely should. Next on Sailing Aquarius. Wow. So beautiful. If you like this video, give us a like down below and click here to subscribe. That really helps us. And if you want to watch more of us, click one of those. They said they came from Spanish. Oh. Mm -hmm.